Well, doctors have this reputation as being smart, right? Yes. Deservedly so, but it's no surprise independent physicians were the ones who created a truly unique health insurance plan. It's available now in the health insurance marketplace. The plan from MIPA is the first and only of its kind. Families in Nebraska and Iowa have really embraced yeah, this. You want to pay attention to this. Could it benefit you? Let's welcome Dr. Janet Grange and Dr. George Tommy. Thanks for nice stopping by. Nice to see by. you. Good morning. Good morning. So you're part of this MIPA, right? Yes. Explain what MIPA is and the organization's history. How did it come about? Um, about five, six years ago, uh, there was a lot of unrest uh, in Omaha, especially with all the health care changes that were going on. And a uh, group of physicians felt we didn't have a uh, voice. We needed to have physicians have input in what went on. So we decided to form an independent physician group, mm -hmm. and that's how we came up with MIPA. And over the last, we, there were like 20 physicians, I think, that started this. And over the last four to five years, this has grown to probably over a thousand uh, wow. members that's now, awesome. wow. that's and remarkable. there are uh, Midwest mid-level practitioners, nurse mm -hmm. practitioners, and PAs included in. And it brings us to the MIPA healthcare plan, right? You had this idea about what would be best for patients and bringing something fresh to the marketplace. Break down the plan for us, Dr. Grange. Well, again, we felt that as the the people who have been in the trenches with patients going through illness and trying to stay well, we had some insight into how could we do this in a way that's cost effective. Because as you know, when the, account the Affordable Care Act was passed, its primary push was to try to get affordable care mm -hmm. to average people. So we felt we had some important ideas that weren't part of the conversation because it was so much a part of what will insurance pay for? So yeah. we decided we need to be part of that mm -hmm. conversation. And that's what makes us so unique. It's, it was designed by the physicians. Mm -hmm. It's not designed by some pencil pushers somewhere <laughs> else. Suits, yeah. Right, no, so it, and it's, it's on the insurance exchange, right? The marketplace. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, explain how that all ties to get together and how people get to it and sign up for the program. Well, essentially the marketplace, as you know, is, is a way that any person can purchase insurance. It used to be that your employer had to provide it. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to buy it yourself, it was prohibitively expensive. But now insurance, the, the co premium costs are calculated very differently. It's not dependent upon uh, your past medical history. So anyone can enjoy the security of having a high quality health care plan. So the way you get that though is through the insurance exchange. Mm -hmm. The way you can access our plan is by the easiest way is through our website. Um, and we've tried to make it easy because, as you uh, commented, mm -hmm. the, for people who have never had to purchase their own insurance, this can seem overwhelming. So yeah. we've tried to make it simple. And the number of choices and you think, how do I even know what's best for me? What's mm -hmm. best for my health? Mm -hmm. What's best for my wallet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yes. A lot of that goes into this. Yes. And, and both of those concerns are important. Mm -hmm. And physicians have always been in a position where we advocate for our patient's health. Now we're also advocating for their pocketbook as well mm -hmm. because increasingly their dollars are on the table paying for it. And because it was designed by physicians, it's different than most of the other programs out there. Mm -hmm. So for our viewers out there who are considering something like this or need some sort of health insurance plan, how is this different than most other plans out there? Uh, with the change in the Affordable uh, Care Act, um, uh, patients and, and consumers are going to be paying more for their health care as time goes on. So your out-of-pocket payment, your deductible, your um, uh, co-pay is going to increase. So now a lot of these plans, I think MIPA has a very competitive plan. The premiums are very competitive. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the plans are very, the change in the plans are a few dollars difference between the change. The question is, if you have a plan that does most of your care at a health care facility, you're going to be paying a lot more. Your deductible is mm -hmm. going to be a lot more. And if you have the same, our plan, we use facilities and outpatient centers that are a lot less uh, uh, costly. So if you do, for example, CAT scans or MRI scans or do outpatient surgeries, mm -hmm. the cost is about a third if you have it done at the health care system. Mm -hmm. so we as physicians know where to send people, where, which are the best facilities to use. Mm -hmm. You know, we do not compromise care at the same time, though we can get it cheaper, the quality is uh, just about the same as you would 
at an any healthcare system. It boils down to making the best choice. Yes. It's just being smarter. Uh, there's a website on the screen now, and Dr. Mm -hmm. Grange, you said that's the, the best place. That's the easiest place, mm -hmm. too. It's Midwest. So if you think about MIPA, just spell out Midwest. IPPA.com. We'll also link it back to our site. But we also have a phone number. So for our viewers who, some of them are fine with online interaction, some would rather talk to another person. Is that number a good resource too? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and you will find someone on the other end that can walk you through this. But don't let the technical, the perceived technical difficulty stop you from addressing again the economic security that you have when you have a good health insurance mm -hmm. plan we yeah. want to make that possible for everyone yeah. but time is limited here right the right. deadline the is deadline approaching. is february 15th mm -hmm. so we still have a month to yeah. make this happen mm -hmm. so go to your computer or your phone and and take care of this issue it should be everyone's new year's resolution mm -hmm. that they're going to address well address we this all say right issue. i'm going to lose weight or i'm going to quit smoke we have all these health <laughs> resolutions and then for some of us it's about i'm going to save more money in the new year this is one way to do it all yes. <laughs> right take care of yourself mm -hmm. yes. and save money. Doctors, Thank you both. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank Good you. to see you. Mm -hmm. All right. So chili cooks, they can be competitive, but it's it's all good when our neighbors get needed help, right? The, the explanation on this right. is about 10 minutes away. Dave and Mary are both in the green room nodding their head right now. They are. They are. First, four financial resolutions that could make a difference for you in 2015.